All right, so we're going to find a comfortable seat using a prop if you need, or a pillow, whatever you have handy, and then lift the flesh away from your sitting bones. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. Hi, I'm Joanne. Thanks for coming to practice. Um, so finding that comfortable seat so you can find length for your spine. And then soften the shoulders away from your ears. Retract your chin just slightly so it's aligned directly above your spine. And using a prop to create space so that you can find ease in this posture. And then closing your eyes. Nice and gently, allow the lips to part so that the jaw is soft. And resting the hands either palms down or palms up. Connecting to your breath as it moves in and out of the nose. And we'll begin to deepen the breath. So checking in with how the breath is moving now, and then you want to embrace the belly on the inhale. And really imagine the belly popping out as you breathe in, breathe into your lower abdomen. And then we want to create a nice full wave through the body three dimensionally. So we're expanding in all directions through the ribs, out to the sides, all the way up to the chest and clavicle. On the inhale, and as you exhale through the nose, we reverse that wave and release any tension with the breath. Draw the navel toward the spine at the very bottom of your exhale so you can push all the stale air out of the lungs. And inhale automatically back into your belly. Taking this time at the beginning of our practice, if you'd like, you can set an intention or a dedication for your practice. Choosing just one thing, it might be mental, it might be physical, or you might again dedicate the practice. Repeat it three times to yourself so that anchors into your subconscious mind for the rest of our practice. Nice deep breath in as you grow tall, expanding. And as you exhale, just bow your chin to the chest. Keep the shoulders open. Just the head forward. And take a moment here to find some gratitude for yourself to coming to practice and honor yourself in this moment. As we stretch through the back of the neck, feeling the head, weight of the head stretching the back of the neck. Take another deep breath here. And then just begin to gently rock side to side. So start small. Use your inhale to open up through the neck and the exhale to draw the chin back forward to the chest. Make sure the shoulders are staying open and broad down the back. Inhale gently side to side. And again, you may start small and then begin to open up. And obviously never working in pain. If anything is uncomfortable, don't do it.
bank the movement nice and fluid with your breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, release forward. Maybe you're getting a little bigger with each circle, side to side. As you do this movement, so you want to feel that the entire movement that you're getting is stretched through the neck. Good. Drop the chin, exhaling forward. Inhale, we'll take the head up right now. Soften the shoulders, tag a little weight into the elbows. Again, make sure the head is aligned right above the spine. Breathe in and out. And then we're going to rotate. So keeping the chin parallel to the floor, we're going to just gaze side to side. So inhale, one direction, exhale, center. Inhale to the second side. So nice and slow, breathing as you move. You might find a little more space with each rotation, but don't force anything. Inhaling. And exhaling. Good. Meeting back at the center. Sitting up again. Retract the chin a little bit. Breathe in. And as you exhale, just tilt the head to one side. So now your ear is over your shoulder, chest is still lifted, posture is nice and tall. Take your opposite arm out to the side, walk it out as far as you can so the fingers stay on the floor and activate the fingers. So you can feel this from the neck all the way down your arm, even into your fingertips. And then we'll Again, find a little gentle movement to really open up all the small channels in the neck here. So inhale as you turn the nose toward the sky. And exhale as you turn your nose to the opposite shoulder from the stretched out arm. So you're looking over your bottom shoulder, not the outstretched side. Inhale up and exhale down. You might play with the angle of your head just a little bit to find what release feels best for you or where you need to stretch. Keep the arm active a little bit, the outstretched arm active. And down, let's take one more round. Inhale up and exhale down. Good. We're going to bring the head back toward the screen so the nose is forward. And then you're going to lift the hand off the floor just a couple of inches, not very far. Pull the arm out and wiggle your fingers. So now it goes into the forearm. Keep the sternum lifted. All the channels down the arm that run into the neck. So let's begin to circle our hands a little bit. Keep wiggling your fingers as you move the arm and the wrist. And reverse your circles with the wrist. Keep moving the fingers. Good. Let's pull the hand out again, reach long through the fingers, and then flex the hand toward the face. Exhale as you pull the hand down. Keep breathing. Inhale, flex. And exhale, point the fingers down. One more time. And exhale. Good. Let's pull the hand out again. So now your thumb should be facing toward the screen. Your hand is flat. Shoulder is relaxed. And then we're going to rotate the thumb down. So now we're rotating the arm in the shoulder joint. Turn the fingers down and in. And then open the other way. So thumb comes back and behind you. Now you're opening through the chest a little bit. Feeling that through the whole arm and the shoulder. So let's do that a couple more times, turning, rotating inward, and externally rotate open. We still got our head flexed to the side, pulling that arm out one more time. Good, 
good. Bring the hand back to neutral. Pull the arm out and release the hand down to the left. Drop the chin. Inhale, take the head upright. And just see how that feels. So I feel much longer on this side of the neck. Hopefully you do too. A little more relaxed. Shoulder feels lower. So let's do the other side. Inhale. And exhale, flex your head to the other shoulder. Walk your fingertips out, keeping them on the ground. Activate through the fingers. Check your posture, still lifted through the chest. Shoulders are soft. And then let's rotate the head. Inhale, turning the nose towards the sky. And exhale down. Looking over that bottom shoulder. And again, play with the angle for you. And maybe how far you're rotating. You might not be able to rotate as far if you've got any tension or neck issues. So don't feel like you need to do as deep of a move or as big of a move. You can keep it smaller and you're still going to get a lot of benefits. So keeping the breath moving is super important. down one more time. Good, and then bring the head, the nose toward the screen. Sternum lift, shoulder soft. Lift that hand off the floor about an inch. Begin to wiggle the fingers. Just all the fingers, including the thumb. Keep the arm pulling out. Keep the shoulders down. Begin to rotate through the wrist. Circles, keep moving those fingers. Keep breathing. Good. Reverse your rotations in the wrist. Keep that shoulder out. Keep both shoulders down. Nice deep breath. And then pull the arm out. And again, we'll flex the fingers toward the face. Ooh, I feel that. Exhale down. And yeah, this side of my arm, I use this arm a lot, and it is way different than the other side, so you might notice that too. Let's come up again, flex, and exhale down. One more. Keep breathing. Good. Pull the arm out again, soften the shoulders, lift the sternum, and then again, thumb is forward. We're going to turn the thumb down, rotate the arm in the joint. So now we're just isolating this whole arm bone in the shoulder socket. Inhale, turn back and open. Exhale down. Turning the thumb back as much as you can rotate comfortably without shifting your posture around. So we're trying to kind of isolate in that shoulder. Good. Let's do one more up and down. Good. Bring the hand back to neutral, pull the arm out, drop the chin forward, bring the hand in, and take the head upright. I, hope, I think we did the same thing on both sides, I hope. Okay, relax the hands by the side, and just take a moment here to observe any changes in the neck and shoulder. Maybe shrug the shoulders a few times, just working out any extra kinks in there, breathing. Maybe squeeze a little tension and exhale, soften, and release. Awesome. So let's come into onto all fours into a tabletop position. I'm going to move my little prop to the side. You can always use a blanket under your knees if you need. So we're going to come into all fours and brighten the fingers on the mat. You're also welcome to take fists if you have any wrist issues or problem there. You can use fists instead of hands down. So we're going to align the knees under the hips and the hands under the shoulders. We're going to push the mat away from us. We're going to rotate the inside of our elbow toward the front of the mat and make sure we're not locking the joint. So we want a softness in the joint there. Pressing the full surface of the hand into the mat and the tops of the feet as well so that we're engaging our abdomen toward the spine. And the neck is an extension of the spine, so try not to look up at the screen if you can help it. Keep the neck long, looking down on the floor. And then we'll take some cat-cow stretches. So we're going to inhale as we drop the belly, send the tail and the crown far and away. 
As you breathe in and as you exhale, round the spine to the sky, drop the tailbone and the head. Inhale as you open, creating space in the body. Exhale as you round, stretching out. Good, a few more with your breath. Good, and then we'll come back to a neutral position. So from all fours, we're gonna thread the needle. So we're gonna inhale and sweep one arm up to the sky, open your chest as best you can, and then exhale, thread the needle, come all the way down between the hand and the knee on the floor, and let the cheek and the ear land. So you wanna melt into the shoulder here, the back of the shoulder. Inhale as you sweep up, and exhale as you thread the needle. The option is to stay static. If you wanna just like melt into the stretch, you can just stay here and breathe, or you can move with the breath, up to you. Every day is different, so you might need something different each time. Take one more if we're moving. Exhale, come down, all the way down. And then for a moment here, while we're here, we're gonna tent the opposite hand up, draw that elbow toward the sky, so you can get a little deeper into that stretch. So you're kind of pressing into the floor to lean into the cheek and the shoulder a bit. Take a nice deep breath here. Relaxing under exhale, melting into the floor. Good, let's unwind. Come back to all fours, set yourself up. And we'll switch sides. Inhale, sweep the other arm up. Exhale as you thread the needle all the way down. Inhaling and exhaling, maybe moving, maybe staying down. Trying to breathe fluidly and smoothly. As well as moving nice and fluidly. One more time up, open the chest, exhale down. Again, tend the opposite fingers, lifting the elbow and pushing into this a little deeper for a nice deep breath. Good, unwind yourself, come back to all fours. Press the mat away from you. Take your hands out a little bit wider, maybe walk them out in front of you a little bit and then take the shoulders above the wrists again. And then we're gonna bend at the elbow and plant our chest right between our hands. So you're gonna come down to awkward us, but you can walk your knees behind your hip points just a little bit. Engage your core as you come down slowly to the mat, onto the belly and then release down. So your hands are right next to your chest. And then you're gonna extend one arm out to the floor in a T position. Whichever arm you've got extended, take that same cheek to the floor and turn your head the other direction. So I'm gonna tent this hand next to my chest up, lift the elbow. I'm gonna bend the same leg up so the foot is toward the sky. I'm gonna breathe in. And as I exhale, I'm gonna push, reach my foot behind me, push into my hand on the ground toward my extended arm to open through the chest. Big shoulder stretch here, big chest opener. So you don't have to bring the foot back. Whatever's comfortable, go as far as you're comfortable. And then we'll take another deep breath here to open and release into the chest. One more breath. Good, slowly come back center. Bring your chin to the middle of the mat again. Take the extended arm back in. Reach the other arm out to the floor, palm down. Again, turn the same cheek to the floor. Cat hair, excuse me. 
shoot down, arm extended, and then tuck this hand up, bending that leg, and then open to that extended arm. Pressing into the mat, bringing your foot behind you, maybe. And breathe into this chest opener. Slowly unwind yourself, bringing the hands back in next to your chest. The tops of the feet press into the floor, hands are right next to your chest. Elbows are hugging in and toward the floor behind you. While we're here, we're going to do a nice low cobra. Inhale, lift the chest and the head. Keep the neck long so you're looking out in front of you on the floor. Keep the feet glued to the floor if you can and breathe into your belly. Come on down, bring the chin down. Give yourself a little rest here. And we're gonna come up again. <clears throat> Inhale, pull the elbows back. Lift the chest and now slide the elbows out underneath your shoulders or sphinx. Keep the arms parallel. And then we're gonna lift up out of our shoulders. So pull the mat towards you a little bit. Keep the feet glued. If you have any tension or pain in the lower back body, you wanna tilt the tailbone toward the heels and then find that space in the back. If it's too much, still you can lower a little bit. I want you to try to pull the shoulder blades back, open your chest and breathe in, into the lungs here. So nice chest opener, nice stretch for the low back. If it hurts, come out or tilt the tailbone or come down lower. It's a big stretch. Take one more breath here. Slowly bring the elbows back, hands next to the chest. Good, tuck your toes and then push back over the hips here with the toes untucked. So we're stretching through the bottoms of the feet now. Pushing back, you can relax the head toward the floor. You can take something behind your knees or a pillow under your chest. So you've got less, um, so you don't have to come so close to the floor. You can give yourself a prop here. And breathe into the bottoms of your feet. Good, inhale, come back up to all fours. Uncurl your toes, and bring your hands under your shoulders. Good, tuck your toes again, and then we're gonna peel up slowly to downward dog. So send your hips high, relax your chest between your arms, and then pedal your feet one at a time. So your arms are at least shoulder width apart, maybe a little broader. Full surface of the hand is pressing into the mat. We're pedaling our feet, and we're breathing. Good. And then we're going to slowly walk ourselves all the way up to the front of the mat, coming into a standing forward bend. Measure about two fists between the feet, hands next to the feet. Bend your knees as much as you need so the fingers touch the floor. Draw your forehead toward your shins here. And then let's release the arms and dangle. So grab opposite elbows, hang like a rag doll. Knees can be bent, feeling the weight on all four corners of the feet. Way gently side to side. Shaking out the head, a little yes and no. Good, releasing the elbows, dangle, find your footing, and we're going to roll up slowly. Tuck your tailbone, roll yourself up. All the way to stand at, at the top, shrug your shoulders to open the chest. And come to a mountain pose. So we're nice and tall, pelvis is nice and neutral. Heavy suitcases in the hands. And then from here, we're gonna reach the arms behind us, inhale deeply, keeping the pelvis neutral. So we don't wanna arch the back. Keep the pelvis neutral. We'll pull the arms behind us and lift up. Deep breath in. Good, touch the hands, exhale, lower them down. 
into the heart and prayer position. Good, inhale, sweep back, open the chest. Lift up tall, exhale, lower. Raise chest. So as you do this, I want you to think about trying to move the shoulder and the arms and the shoulder joint in a nice breeze, as big as you can, comfortably, inhale up. Keep the shoulders relaxed, exhale, behind you, reaching back and back to prayer pose. Good. Let's take it again one more time. Inhale, stretch up tall, reach back, connect the hands at the top, and then exhale, lower all the way down, hinge at the hip, and fold into forward bend. Bending your knees, forehead tuck. Inhale, come into a flat back position, open the chest. Good, exhale, fold, bending the knees if you need. I'm gonna do that again. Inhale, flat back, open the chest. Exhale, fold. And one more time, inhale, flat back. And exhale, bow. Good, dangle here, roll up, inhale. Back to your mountain pose, shrug your shoulders and open the chest. Good, inhale, stretch the arms behind you as you inhale up. Lifting the sternum, exhale, fold, forward bend. Good, plant your hands next to your feet and take a giant sit back with one of your legs. Coming into a lunge, lower the hips, we'll drop the back knee and uncurl the toes. I want you to think about scissoring your legs toward the midline. Make sure the knee is above the heel on the front foot. You can change the back leg depending on flexibility of this hip flexor. Inhale, come up. Sweep the arms up. Soften your shoulders. Good. Exhale, take your hands to your heart in prayer pose. Drop through the shoulders. Inhale as you grow tall here. And exhale, turn toward the front knee side. Open the arms out wide. Pulling the arms apart. Keep the shoulders above the hips here. Good. Inhale, stretch up tall with the arms. Lifting up and then touch the hands. Exhale, open to the other side. Just kind of twisting side to side. Inhale, stretch up. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Exhale, twist to the front knee side. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, open. Good, inhale up. Exhale, float the hands down, frame that front foot. And I should have said, as my knee is talking to me, you can use a cushion or double up your mat here if you need. So we're gonna walk the hands back as we pull the toes toward the face, half monkey here, open the chest. Pull that front sitting bone toward the back of the mat. Take a deep breath here. This knee can be soft. Let's breathe in here. And exhale, walk the hands forward, plant the foot. I'm gonna tuck my back toes under and lift the knee. Taking my hips up a little bit higher so I have some space to step back for downward dog. Good, from downward dog here, we're gonna inhale into a plank position and then drop the knees right where they are. Take the chest down between the hands, exhale, and then inhale, slide into your cobra, open your chest. Gluing the feet, let's lift the hands and take a breath here. Using the muscles of the back to support us, not the hands. Good, release down. Tucking your toes, you can come down, back through tabletop or straight back downward dog. Good, from your downward dog, you're gonna bend your knees and gaze forward. Whichever leg you stepped back with, take that same leg forward. So we're switching sides. Drop your back knee and uncurl the toes. 
find that scissor action, make sure this is nice and right angle aligned. Scissor action with the legs and rise up. Again, you can use a cushion, you can double up your mat for a little extra knee protection. Add the arms when you're ready. Lifting up, soften your shoulders. We don't want to sink into our back here, we want to lift up out of the back. So switch the legs, lift through the pelvis, arms rise. Exhale, take your hands to your heart and prayer pose. Breathe in, grow tall. Shift toward the front knee side, turning and then open the arms wide. Keep them nice and open, breathe here, keeping our balance. Good, inhale, stretch up tall. And then exhale, open to the other side. Shoulders above the hips. Inhale, stretch. All the way up, exhale, twist. Good, inhale up. And exhale, twist. Inhale, reach. And we'll exhale, float the hands down to frame that foot. Again, we'll walk it back, draw the toes up, walk your hands back, take this leg all the way to the back. You can soften the knee and lift the heart. Nice breath here into that hamstring. Softening a little movement with the breath. Good, exhale, slowly come forward as you plant the foot and the hand. Tucking the back toes will lift the knee, send the hips high and stepping back, downward dog. Good, floating into a plank pose here. Inhale, lower the hips. Exhale, you can drop the knees, chest and chin to the mat. And we'll slide into a cobra again. Inhale, lift the chest. Lift the hands here, take another breath. Neck is loose, gaze is out in front of you. Feet are glued to the floor. One more breath. Good, exhale, release. Release the hands and the chin. Good, let's take one more shoulder stretch from here. So again, we're gonna reach the arm out to a T, palm down, turn the cheek to the back. Tent the other hand, inhale, bend the knee and reach, roll back, open the chest. Nice deep breath. Slowly unwind. Bring that arm in, send the other arm out. Cheek to the floor again. Tent the hand, bend the leg. Inhale, exhale, turning open toward the extended arm. A nice deep breath. One more breath. And slowly come back. Good. Chin down, hands nice to the chest. Good, and then let's push back into child's pose, sitting over the hips, arms extend, and then bring the arms by the side, all the way down behind you. Soften your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Walk your hands back out, inhale, come into tabletop. Tucking your toes, exhale, downward dog. Take your time. Good, and then walk halfway up to the middle of the mat. Walk your hands back next to your feet. Standing forward bend at the middle of the mat. Hang your head. Shake it out a little yes and no. Dangle your arms and slowly roll yourself up. Stand in the middle of your mat, open the chest. Good, I'll face you guys. We're gonna take our feet out nice and wide. We're gonna aim the toes. Actually, keep your feet parallel to start. So you're in a nice wide-legged stance. You're gonna take your hands around your waist, thumbs around the waist, 
And then the hands are supporting the lower back and the sacrum. So you can kind of use them here as support. The lower back. Feet are parallel. Activate your feet fully into the floor and then pull the elbows back. So as if you're opening through the chest. So we're gonna keep the tailbone neutral. Keep the pelvis neutral and we're just going to lift the sternum as we pull the elbows back and the shoulders back lift through the sternum toward the sky lifting the head a little bit if that's comfortable i want you to take a deep breath into your chest here into the lungs one more breath good and then we're going to hinge from our hips so we're going to lead with our chest so nice long spine here you can use a prop if you need or blocks below so that the ground is a little closer to you. And if you're comfortable coming to the floor, releasing the hands all the way down, keeping the spine long. So if you're rounding, you need to use something to bring the floor closer to you, or you can also try separating your stance a little wider. That'll get you closer to the floor. Whatever's more comfortable for you. I want you to have a nice long spine here. Place one hand in front of your face and twist, pull the other arm up and open. Open the chest here, send the fingers up. Spine is long, feet are nice and evenly grounded. Good, exhale, come down with the top arm, replace that hand in front of your face. Inhale, other side up, twist. Open up. Good, exhale, come on down. Let's take the hands shoulder width apart again here. Press the mat away from you. And then you're gonna take um, one arm to the opposite leg. So find a stance that's comfortable. Take one arm to the opposite leg and drop forward. So you're gonna kind of bend at the elbow, let the head hang. And you're kind of pulling on that leg to stretch the shoulder out. And hopefully you can feel that. Relax your head, bend at the elbow, pull. Take a deep breath into the back of your shoulder blade, stretching through that rhomboid area. Good, release that hand and let's switch sides. So again, opposite hand to the opposite ankle or leg. And use props if you need. So no, if this doesn't work for you, you can find another way to try the pose like using uh, prop, maybe take your legs closer, whatever you need to do. Bring the head, and again, using that arm, bend at the elbow, breathe into the shoulder, but let the head be heavy. One more breath. Good, releasing, bring the hands back out under your shoulders. And now we're going to flip the feet open a little bit. So aiming toward the corners of the mat. Again, my spine is still nice and long. I'm going to walk both hands to one side. Whichever side your hands are walking toward, you're going to bend that knee. Keep your feet flat on the floor, stretching the opposite inner thigh. Finding a nice breath here. We'll do our little crab walk side to side. Inhale through center. Deep breath in, exhale to the other side, bend the other knee. If this hurts your knee, don't do it. Keeping the feet flat on the floor should help protect the knee. Keeping that knee open, don't let it collapse in. Inhale through center and exhale to the side. Then let your breath guide you. Well, cracking and popping in the hips. Them out a little bit. Good. Let's go again one more time. And slowly come back to center. Bring the hands under the shoulders again. Nice long spine. Turn your feet in. Parallel once more. Onto your fingertips, open the chest, activate your feet, and then take one hand at a time to the hips and slowly hinge up. Use the strength of your legs and your back to lift up. 
Good, and then heel to the feet back to the center of the mat. Good, shake out a little bit. Awesome, and then let's try the eagle for balance today. So the eagle is great for the uh, shoulders and the hips. So feet should start about a hip distance apart. For balance, if you need a chair or the wall, you can use something. Um, fixing your gaze anywhere on the floor that's not going to move. And shifting the weight to whichever leg you want to stand on first. Good. So if take note of what leg you're standing on, reach the arms out, inhale. Whichever leg you're leaning on, take that same arm underneath as you wrap your arms. So you can hold your shoulders, hands can be back to back or palm to palm. So if you're new to this posture, this is a little more of a challenging balance. Don't worry so much about connecting the palms if your wrists torque out of alignment. We're going to keep the energy flowing so you can just have your hands here or here. Whatever works. So I'm shifting and sitting into my standing leg now. I'm going to imagine sitting in a chair. And then I'm going to take my other leg. Once I fix my gaze and I feel steady, I'm going to take my other leg and cross it on top. So I can have my big toe down for more support. If you're comfortable, you can just wrap or you can try to wrap the foot around the calf. If that works, don't worry about it. If it doesn't, try to keep the posture tall. And once you're there, maybe the elbows rise. That'd be a big stretch for your shoulder. So if you fall out, don't worry about it. Come back when you're ready and breathe. Good. I'm gonna put my toe down because I'm having challenges today. A little challenge in my right knee. So listen to that. Breathe in the eagle. Good. Maybe one more breath. And slowly unwind. From the pose. So one of the other benefits of that particular pose is that we kind of block the flow of energy where we cross and then when we release like tons of fresh blood and oxygen reinfuse the tissue there so it's a nice way to kind of reinvigorate the tissues when we do that little block. Okay so now you're going to shift to your other leg second side. As you're ready inhale the arms out same arm as the leg you're standing on will come under. Find the arm position that works for you. And again, we want to try to keep the spine tall. I'm going to sit into a chair. Imaginary chair, I'm trying to keep my spine tall. And then you're going to cross the other leg on top. Again, toe can come down. Maybe you wrap, maybe not. And then maybe the elbows rise. Fixing your gaze, find your breath. Good. Slowly unwind yourself and shake it out. Awesome. From your mountain pose, let's inhale, sweep the arms up, back behind you, reach up. Give ourselves a little side stretch, reach up and over. Keeping the chest open here. Nice deep breath into the side body. Inhale, grow tall, reach up and over to the other side. Good, inhale, grow tall. Float the arms behind you, releasing down, and shrug your shoulders as you open the chest. Good. Let's come down to the front of the mat now. I'm going to come down to a kneeling position. So, what I'm going to do is roll up the front of my mat. You can use a cushion if you want more. We're going to come onto our knees here. 
And we're gonna have our, our knees hip width apart. So nice and stacked in our bones. And then I'm gonna tuck my toes under. I think most of us will do that if we're coming off the back at all. So we're gonna try the camel pose. So again, thumbs come around the waist and the hands support the sacrum in the lower back. Again, we draw the elbows behind us to open the chest. So we wanna feel the momentum that's pulling us forward even though we're not moving. Right, you wanna feel the front body a little bit activated here. And important with the neck is not to drop the head back, keep the neck supported. Unless you're advanced and you're comfortable doing that, but I don't think most of us are there. So toes are tucked under. I'm gonna inhale, lean forward just a little bit, lift the sternum. And then this is optional. You can stay here with the hands on the back. If you want to try the camel, you're gonna reach one hand to the heel. So again, my toes are tucked under, so my heels are closer. And I'm lifting my sternum. I'm not dropping my head back. My shoulders are open. Deep stretch for the back. Find your breath. Tuck your tailbone. No pinching in the low back. If you are, come up a little higher. Good. Lift the sternum. One more breath here. Get one hand at a time to the back for support to come up if you came off the back at all. And release down. So we're going to uncurl the toes. And then from here, I'm going to take one leg out to the side. So my leg is directly out to the side and my toes face forward with the body. We're going to take gate pose. So I'm going to rest my arm on the extended leg as I inhale the opposite arm up. Soften your shoulder. As you exhale, you're just going to fold to the side, sliding down the leg as a guide, not leaning on the leg, just lift, using that as a guide post for your, keeping your chest nice and open. We're not collapsing and rounding, we're open. And stretching through the side body, breathe here. Good, use your torso to inhale up tall and exhale lower the arm. Take that knee in. And we'll switch sides. So send the other leg out to the side. Again, the toes face forward. My hips are nice and aligned. And the arm lands on the extended leg. Inhale, the other arm stretches up tall. Soften your shoulder. Deep breath in and then exhale, fold to the side again. Keeping the neck supported, shoulder soft. One more breath here. Good, inhale through the side, reach up, and exhale over the arm. Good, pull that knee in. Shrug your shoulders as you open the chest. Good, let's uncurl the mat, and let's come all the way down. So we're gonna send our legs out in front of us, lifting the flesh from your sitting bones, and draw the toes toward the face. Hands on top of your thighs, and we're going to slowly come down. So I want to encourage you to maybe challenge yourself by engaging your core as you unfurl nice and slowly to the mat. Keep the heels down, tuck the chin, slowly roll, nice and slow, all the way to the floor. So once you're on the mat, all the way down. Let's draw the knee into the chest. So bring one knee in, squeeze it in. Maybe pull it toward the armpit a little bit. And that bent leg, you're going to rotate the toe, big circles with the toe. Move the ankle a little bit, reverse your circles. Good. Squeeze the knee into the chest. And then take this bent leg across the body in a reclining twist. So we're going to take the leg across, all the way over, twisting. Extend that same arm out to the side. And then maybe you gaze to your extended arm in your twist. If that's okay for your neck, 
And I want you to think about softening this extended arm shoulder toward the floor. See if you can relax the shoulder down. Find your breath, breathe deeply into your belly. One more breath. Good, slowly come back to center. Squeeze that knee in one more time. And send the leg out. Good, take the other knee in, squeeze it in. Maybe it draws toward the armpit a little bit. Let's make some circles with the big toe. And reverse. Good. Squeeze the knee in. And then we'll twist. Exhale over to the side. Extend the other arm out, palm down, turning toward the extended arm. Breathe into your belly. Softening that shoulder blade. breath. And nice and slowly come back to center. Squeeze the knee in one more time. And send the leg out. Good. Let's bend the knees to place our feet on the floor. Take the arms off to a T. And then just windshield wiper your legs gently side to side. Good, bring the knees up, take the knees to your chest, hold on to your shins, and give yourself a little back massage. Make some circles on the back. Keep breathing as you move. And reverse your circles. Squeeze the knees in, lower the feet to the floor. If you have any tension at all in the low back, you can keep the knees bent, feet on the floor, take the feet out of mat width apart, and let the knees fall toward the middle. Open your palms to face the sky. Tuck your shoulders under your chest to open the heart. If the back feels comfortable, you might want to stretch the legs out or place a roll under the knee. Make sure the neck is neutral on the floor. So if the chin is lifted here, you're crunching in the back of the neck, place a little prop under your head so you can elongate the neck. Again, allow the fingers to curl toward the palm as they relax. Maybe rock your head a little side to side. Relax the neck. And then we'll do a little guided relaxation. You guys sit down. <laughs> Back to the mat. Hold. Good. So relaxing on your back. Allow everything to sink into the floor. Allow your breath to come back to neutral. Back to a nice, easy breath. So not forcing, just relaxing. Relax your entire body. So we'll go do a little body scan and just follow along. Relaxing your feet, your toes, your ankles. Maybe give them a little wiggle and then let them be still. Completely relax your feet, your toes, and your ankles. So 
relaxing through the calves, the shins, and the knees. Completely relax your calves, your shins, and your knees. Relaxing the quadriceps and the hamstrings and the glutes. Feeling your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes completely relaxed. Feeling your lower legs completely heavy and relaxed. And to bring awareness into the pelvis and the hips, and the abdomen and the chest. Completely relax through your pelvis, your hips, your abdomen, and your chest. your pelvis, your hips, your abdomen and chest are completely relaxed. Relaxing your low back, mid back and upper back. Feeling your low back, mid back and upper back completely relaxed. Bringing awareness into the palms, the fingers, and the wrists. Feeling your palms and your fingers and your wrists completely relaxed. Moving up through the arms, the shoulders. Feeling your arms and your shoulders. Completely relax. Your arms are completely heavy and relaxed. And bringing awareness into your neck and throat. Feeling your neck and your throat completely relaxed. awareness into all the muscles of the face, feeling the jaw, the tongue, and the cheeks relax, feeling your eyelids, eyebrows, and temples relax, feeling your forehead, scalp, and skull relax. All the muscles of the face, the jaw, the tongue, and the cheeks, the eyelids, the eyebrows, and the temples, the forehead, the scalp, and the skull are completely relaxed. Your entire body is completely relaxing. Your entire body is completely relaxed. Relax. Relax. Relax.
ready, we'll wiggle the fingers and toes to gently rock the head side to side. Bend your knees to place your feet on the floor if they're not already there. And slowly make your way to the right side of your body to a fetal pose for just a moment. Noticing any changes from now in the beginning of our practice. Recalling any intention or dedication you may have set for your practice. As you're ready, you're going to use your left hand to push yourself back up to a sitting position, keeping an easy pose, sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to inhale as we sweep the arms up together, gather some good energy, breathe in deep. Connecting your hands at the top, slowly lower them down to your heart and bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing today. We'll bow to each other. Namaste.